I'm looking for Keith Kirkhoff. Hey. Where is he? Hey, King. This is Keith Kirkhoff, Templeton, Rio. I'm of course Tiny Circle, and uh, I'm here this morning. We're gonna take a little tour around. Templeton, Rio whiskey was produced during Prohibition, obviously, and then after Prohibition was over in 1933, it started in 1920 and it ran until 1933 when they repealed it. This is a, a demonstration still back that we uh, actually uh, use for tours when we get tours over here. And it gives people a hands-on idea of how the distillation process works. Let's just take a little, another little nip. It looks just like pepper vodka at this point, but it's a little, a little more kick than pepper vodka. I like it. The whiskey comes out of the still. It's called Moonshine or White Dog, White Lightning or whatever. And uh, it comes out of this still clear. You put it into a barrel. And the barrels are all charred. This is like a number three charred barrel. Uh -huh. This is a used uh -huh. barrel, actually. But uh, anyway, when the whiskey soaks into the wood, it takes on the color. On the color. And it also gets, you get 60 to 70% of your flavor of the whiskey from the barrel. So what I'm saying is when you age a product, you get a premium yes. taste. Right. And that's how Templin Rye, actually, as I understand it, got into coffee with Al Capone because Al Capone got the taste of it. Being an aged product, had the unique flavor, and that's why they called it the good stuff. And it became the good stuff. It became yeah. the good stuff. And who said the good, was it Capone that said the good stuff, or just it was no? I never talked to the man. <laughs> we, we, we used to have all our barrel storage over here, our production line was here, and our bottling line was over on this side and this one. It's very uh, tight quarters, nobody got away on us. And this is actually uh, our bottling line. Every label was put on by hand, and these are our our core group that we started with our uh, charter employees and uh, every ounce of Templeton Rye has been bottled here in Templeton. You yes. have to talk loud because it's, it's they're bottling back there. That's right, it is a, noisy, a little bit of a yeah, noisy no, operation. No. Yes, yeah, so it's, uh, it's a far cry, big improvement from what we started with our original four bottle fill. We have on this uh, line, we have what we call air rinse where the problems go down into the bottle and extract any uh, foreign material that happen to be highly unlikely because we use all virgin glass. The second step is actually the uh, four, six bottle fill. You have what they call the angel here. That's the evaporation uh -huh. process. So we'll end up getting probably 45 to 46 after four years of age. Uh, we'll probably get 45 to 46 gallons of whiskey out of these barrels. Right. And well, there's something the magical about the angel shed because, in a way, it's like you know, some of it goes back to God. So <laughs> well, God well, sits up there going, "Hey, I'm gonna get my share of temple." Well, Tiny, that kind of concludes what we have to show you. Here yes, thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Thank you. you coming out. Beautiful. Uh, it oh, it's my pleasure. Time. That's the best I've ever seen anybody look in one of them. Uh, that's not <laughs> the first time you said that, I think. But listen, Keith Kirkhoff, thank you so much, Templeton Rye. Hey. You guys are awesome, amazing, wonderful, and uh, keep up the hard work. We'll see you, Tiny. <laughs>